<laughs> hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. We are back from Tokyo and you've been asking, what's it like? Well, we're gonna tell you, welcome to Geek Feed. <laughs> This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, so first of all, why did we go to Japan? That's the biggest question. Well, the big Japanese airline, All Nippon Airways, which we affectionately like to call Anna. ANA. Well, we call it Anna. ANA. Anna. Anyway, they invited us to take a trip with them to experience their new inspiration of Japan service. We got a few videos to share with you guys about the experience, and we're going to show you everything Absolutely. from technology to just generally what it's like to be a tourist in Japan. And don't forget about the robots. I mean, basically, we hope to give you guys a pretty complete look at the city of Tokyo. But for now, let's just share our overall thoughts. Okay, do it. First of all, starting with the people. People, oh. They're super nice, super polite. They really go out of their way, their way to help you when you say something. You know, we're from Texas. Yes. Okay, so everyone's we're, nice here. We're used to people being fairly nice. Yeah. But they take it to a whole new level there, and it's not just that they're really nice; they're also very respectful. They I mean, are. they they're, they're everything they do. They try and they try and not uh, impose themselves upon other people. Yeah. They're really quiet all the time, like on the trains. They are. They do value quiet, except when it comes to like the shopping experiences. Then they like to shout like to... at everyone all the time. <laughs> okay, so they do that, and they also, all of the um, people in the stores uh, where they're welcoming people, it's a constant, oh like, welcome, 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 hey, how you doing? Come on in, welcome, welcome, welcome. But they don't say it like that. The, it's all, it's all, almost always the women. And they do it in this voice, and you can kind of mimic that voice. I, I can only do it when I'm saying, Domayakatomas! <laughs> it's a very, like, nasally. Uh, like. Makes me cringe. <laughs> I, I don't like it. I, it made me want to leave the stores, oh. honestly. I hated that. I hated that. I, but I got used to it very quickly. Other than that, but it's so funny because these women are so quiet and shy. Yeah. But then when they get to work, like, ah! And I mean, they just keep doing it over and over and over until you just, your head they're, is throbbing. They're welcoming you. They yeah, want you to feel welcome. I felt so, something. More like nausea, but. Oh, all be nice. <laughs> no, I love the people. Don't get me the wrong. The people were amazing. The, the one city thing, was also awesome. Well, the one thing about the people that, that kind of bugged me a little bit uh -huh. was women feeling inferior, inferior to men. Oh. You know, I mean, the, the ability or the lack of ability to say anything when they get groped on the subway. Oh, yeah. That was something That's we talked sad. about. We, we we actually met a new friend and we yeah. talked to her about it. And, we and you know, there's that whole groping on the subway. They pack people in like sardines. Do we yeah. have a video of that or something? We maybe? do. Maybe we show some of that. But the point is, when they pack everybody in on those things, they're so close together. Yeah. And our friend told us that she got groped or she gets groped about once, once a month. A month. Yeah. And, and she doesn't say anything. Basically doesn't do anything about it. I, Which is really sad. We couldn't believe it. That's not so, good. So moving on to... No, that's not good at all. Okay, uh, talk about the city. Moving on to the city. The first thing you notice when you get there, clean. Yeah. Super clean. You don't see trash anywhere. Yeah, but I don't understand that because you also don't see trash cans there anywhere. There are no trash cans. Oh my God, that annoyed me so bad. That, it's annoying, but it obviously works because there's no trash anywhere. People carry their trash with them. I actually had my bag full of trash the whole time. It was unbelievable. <laughs> it was unbelievable. But it was you know very what well else? organized. You know what else freaked me out about the city? This is one of the largest cities on earth. 
it was quiet. It was very quiet. All the time, it was quiet. Yeah. Like, it was quieter than it is here in our studio with the cars <laughs> rushing by. Yeah. I don't understand how a city with 40 million people can be so quiet. I, I, I didn't understand how they accomplished a lot of what they did. I yeah. mean, it, and also the smoking. Uh, oh, 40, yeah. 40% of the people there smoke. But... I was so worried that we actually, I loaded it because I'm allergic to smoke. Yeah. Like, He'll literally, go to the hospital. like allergic. So I loaded up on steroids. Yeah. I was taking extra steroids to prepare. We went there. No, you couldn't you, find you anybody see, smoking. Because they have designated areas for Little rooms. smoking. Um, on the street, you can't oh, yeah. light up and just walk down the street. You no. have to stay in the smoking area. It's it's very weird, but obviously it works. Yeah. And I loved that about yeah, it. Yeah, I did too. They, they, they pay very close attention to all the details. They have a rule for everything. Um, and I actually like it because, well, I like all the rules in one way sense because they're all characters. Um, like everything's represented by a character. Characters are everywhere. Well, it's very true. cute. But you know, speaking of rules, it was funny. Like you know, I carry the camera with the tripod everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. But when we went to the airport in Japan, they literally measure pulled it. out tape measures <laughs> to measure the tripod. To, it had to be sixty-one, sixty centimeters 60. or less. Or it could not go on the plane. And I had to literally take the head off and show them that the tripod was yeah. the right. It was amazing. They, they go I mean, a little overboard on all the rules, but very rigidly. obviously they have a perfect running city. So they, they live by that. So I made some friends. You did. I uh, went around. I wanted to see Tokyo fashion and started taking pictures with all the girls. Yukari, yeah. um, who was with us, she's also one of the ANA ambassadors, but um, she, is, she grew up in Japan. And, and she is fearless. She she is amazing. amazing. Like, she just walk up to these girls and go, "Hey, would you take a picture with my friend? She's from America, and that's all she you just need wants to know. To get a picture from America. Taken. <laughs> and they were like, "Uh," and she'd talk them into it, and yeah. then Callie would go stand with them, and I'd snap a little picture. A little we put picture. A, we put an album whole up whole album on, uh, on Google Plus, Google Plus, and you have a whole album of like. You actually literally picked girls up, like well, physically picked them up, which was funny. The question was, you know, could I pick up any chicks while we were in Japan? <laughs> You're and married. Yeah, but I wasn't going to actually, I was just going to physically pick up <laughs> chicks. That was it. Would any of them let me physically pick them up? So you guys can see those Google Yukari Plus albums. found a whole bunch of them. It was she amazing. Did. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Well, I love Tokyo so much. I had such a great time that I want to make a website about it. Yeah, well, you could. You could make a website about, like, Tokyo in Japan. Yeah. In fact, you could you could go to domain.com and you could register tokyoinjapan.com. It's, it's available. actually available. Or, or you the could, Tokyo in Japan is available. What else? You could get, like, yes, that is... Yes, that Tokyo, Tokyo in Japan.com. Japan. I mean, you, you can get a lot <laughs> of them. All sorts yeah. of stuff. When you have a brilliant idea, go get it at domain.com. It's one stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting needs. Super simple, no hassle whatsoever. Yeah, and our friends over at domain.com love GeekBeat. Yeah. And when you use the coupon code Callie at checkout, you'll get 15% off. So uh, you can go to domain.com slash Callie even, and you're going to get a free two gigabyte jump drive. I like Available free. while supplies last, of course. So code Callie, remember that. Now, go Callie. Go Callie. Now on to the food. You oh were my God. super, super worried about food. I found some awesome food I loved. I found sea bream, which I, I haven't ever found here. That was good, actually. We ate some weird food. We did eat weird I food. I ate crab brains. I did not. <laughs> fish eggs. I did not really care I, for those. I did not eat fish eggs. Uh, you love. I did try a little bit of, uh, To be in all fairness, I tried virtually everything that was put in front of me except for you leafy did. vegetables. Yeah, you Which did. I will never I like, so I didn't try those. You had a crab dumpling that you loved. Oh my God, that was delicious. Should we say what we ate that I feel bad for eating? I just still feel guilty. I feel dirty. Uh, just I feel like I need to take a shower and cry. We had horse meat. Not just did we eat horse. We had horse sushi. It was raw yeah. horse slices. I feel really bad for it, but it was they, really good. They ordered it and they brought it and they were like, "Oh, that looks like beef." And they're like, "That's horse." And I was like, "I can't eat a horse. I yeah. like horses." <laughs> but then I ate it. And then after I ate one piece, I was like, that's really good. Oh my God, I really like horses. Okay, I mean, I don't sorry. Think we should be talking about this. We're going to get ridiculed. Sea urchin, uh, shabu shabu. No, I which didn't is, try sea urchin. No, that was really good, actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 
We, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Whale. <laughs> there was a restaurant that had the nothing but whale. whale. And we did not do that. Yukari, we wouldn't go near it. Yukari actually posted on her Google Plus a yeah. video of us having a debate of whether we should go in and try the whale. But we didn't do it because we knew we'd get yeah. crucified if we did. We did. And plus, I didn't really want to. No, no. And take a look at what John's favorite food was over there. All right, I have to get my drink out of the bag. That's my Coke. Very neat and tidy. Just so you know, it tastes exactly like American Coke. Let's see how they do with the Big Mac. Napkins, that's new for Japan. They don't like to give you napkins here. I don't know why. Fries. For the record, the fries basically look exactly like American fries. No. Identical. No fish oil? No fish oil. Tastes exactly like American fries. Now comes the big, big question. Is the Big Mac like an American Big Mac? Remember, I don't eat vegetables, so no vegetables. Only cheese and special sauce. Yep, that's pretty much the Big Mac we know. But look how much neater it is. Like in the US, a Big Mac usually looks kind of sloppy. This one, this was put together with care. Mm. Peppery. They added pepper. Okay, McDonald's in Japan is John P. approved. I'm out of here. Okay, you know, the main reason we went to Tokyo... Was the technology. Yeah, we've been I mean, dreaming about technology in Tokyo forever. Did it, What I, do you I, think? Did it deliver? In some ways and in some ways not. It yeah. was really weird. So we think of it as the tech capital of the world, that everything is happening there. But weirdly, they have no outside influence. They pay attention to only what they do in the country. And so... The first thing I noticed walking into the city was everyone had a flip phone. I was like, what, what is going on here? Yeah. Like, they're not using smartphones. Hello, 1990 called. They want their phones back. <laughs> so the iPhone is being adopted more and more, but everyone had a flip phone. It was weird. So yeah. they, they're not really getting influenced by the outside world. That's true. So there was this um, very, you know, yes, there's a ton of tech and stuff you can't get anywhere, but they're not using it. It's not being adopted. Well, the, you know, most of the reason we use smartphones, I think, you know, one, you can get apps, but another is social media. We, we, yeah. We're all so engaged in social media. And they really love Facebook over there, but not much else. Right. And yeah, well, so, Twitter's popular, but not on the business side of things. You know, we have a friend named Will, mm -hmm. who Will is actually the reason we went. He yes. was the guy who started the chain reaction that got us there. Yep. And we're going to give you guys a short little interview with Will to talk about He's that social awesome. media stuff. He's really cool. Um, so that look for that yeah. soon. But uh, as, as kind of... We felt they were kind of behind right. on those things, but where they were behind there, they made up for with Akiba, Akiba, Akibara. Yeah, yeah. You can never I, I don't say know. that. Akihabara, Akibahara. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but we we went to the the infamous uh, tech yes. tech town, and that was and pretty wow. awesome. Uh, wow. like, Look it for was the videos. Huge, huge, huge. You guys will see that. In fact, we took videos. You're not going to believe. Okay? Yeah, we but weren't we're supposed of, to record anything. We're out of time right now. Yes. Look for those videos, and also look for the videos about the vending machines, the, the toilets. toilets. And the 787 Dreamliner. Yes, that was very exciting. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope uh, that everything that we experienced, you guys will enjoy. We captured it to specifically share it with you guys. That's right. All right, don't forget to follow John on Twitter and Google+. Plus. John Pose will get you there. It will, and Bye. of course, Callie. Oh, they don't. They already know. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>